Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're talking about the best free Android emulator uh, for 2016. And I did make a video earlier about this Android emulator, CoPlayer, but it's had an update and some new features. So this is version 1.3.2. 1040 and it comes with Android version 4.4. So if you want to see the first video, please click the annotation up there to the top right and I'll also leave it in the description. But the new things in CoPlayer, first of all the Android version has been updated to 4.4. They have added a sort of CoPlayer program manager so where you can have multiple CoPlayers running at the same time. Uh, so, and this is really good for uh, when you want to play on multiple accounts for different games. They've also added a boss key to hide all co-player emulators if you want to get them all off your screen at once. More support for the popular and new games, as well as fixing various bugs. I will include the direct download link in the description below, as well as a link to an online virus scanner. So just in case you don't trust me in what I am offering you guys, you can download co-player and then bring over the package before you open it to the virus scanner like if you guys really want to do that. So I'm going to leave that down there in the description below as well. So anyway, this is the CoPlayer program. I'm not really going to go over like a tutorial or anything. I'm just going to show you the basics. Uh, there is a FAQ if you ever get confused. A lot of buttons to the side here. One of the main things I did want to talk about is you can record your gameplay. Uh, so if you want to start making videos or just recording for fun or whatever, uh, there is a built-in record function on this emulator. I've tried this out myself and there doesn't appear to be any frame drop either while recording, so that's really good. Uh, the resolution of the video recording is limited to 1280 by 720 Of course, that is pretty typical and will look fine on YouTube. This is what I record at as well. You can go as high as like 1776 by 1000, although that is kind of a weird resolution. Um, so I would I would recommend just sticking to 1280 by 720, so 720p. And I think that's uh, totally fine. But yeah, anyway, it comes with a Play Store, as you can see here. I have Tai Chi Panda installed right now, and we have the Play Store here, where you can go to get different games from the Play Store and then play on your emulator. So I mean, for those of you that aren't really familiar with Android emulators it's actually like really having an Android phone so you can download Tai Chi Panda but of course you have to if it's not connected to anything like a Google account or a snail account or so then you will have to of course start over because any games that are saved directly onto a phone, it won't be here obviously, unless you like somehow import the data from your phone onto your computer and then into the co-player folders. But yeah, since Taiji Panda does go over the server and I have my account within the game, so if I were to take someone else's tablet, for example, I could still log into my account. It's not saved on my tablet, it's saved on their servers. But yeah, if you guys do want a really great, totally free Android emulator, make sure to check out co-player. Again, I do have the link in the description below for you to check that out but yeah that is going to be all for now guys thanks a lot for watching if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like down below leave a comment if you have any questions or anything like that and until next time